Afternoon viewers, welcome to video 13 on Escort Van Build. Uh, I'm sorry it's been a while since I've uh, I've done a video but uh, I'll be honest with you, last week it was just that or uh, I couldn't be bothered to do out because uh, I work in a forge anyway so when I finish work and I come home and I normally have a couple of hours tinkering about uh, I'd had enough to eat and I just couldn't be bothered. So uh, where have I got? Right, with uh, with pulp wiring on it's out of this uh, out of this petrol. This is one which were it was petrol, but uh, diesel engine out at van has now gone back in here. So uh, that's uh, that's tucked up in there. Wiring harness is removed out of here. What a pain in ass that was. So I'm taking carpet out of this and putting that in van because van just had this knackered old rubber mat. So rubber mat's just been thrown back in here. But uh, every bit of wiring's had to come out of this to go into into van because uh, diesel wiring harness and petrol harness just are not compatible. So uh, yeah. We've got a bit of space now. We old diesel engine were nice back in the one. So trying to make sense of this uh, this wiring harness. What a absolute pain. So I'll show you on the other one. I how harness has to come out. So actual loom is in a U shape. So it runs from bike down there up through in a in a uh, there's a an access grommet a great big grommet then it goes under bonnet across under bonnet down under here there's another access point here part of loom runs across top of dash and other part of loom runs to bike lights there so it's like in a U shape so. You've got to feed it all through there. Once you've fed it through there, there's all up there, it comes out of there, then it goes up through there, that comes in through there, across there, through the other side behind battery, <coughs> through that oil there. And then all the way along to to bike lights. Well, what a struggle that turned out to be. And then once you've got it out, you've got the joys of putting the bloody thing into the next next van. So I'm still in the middle of doing this. It's uh, it's been utter nightmare. So this part of the loom runs down there across to that side that's all engine part of loom and this is the spaghetti that lives under your carpet so I've still got to make head a tail of this I've uh, basically only just thrown it in I've split my two sides that feeds to me bike lights there, fuse boxes out, fuse box has got to go back in, uh, diesel engine doesn't have a brain, so that's brain, ECU, uh, there's no mountings in diesel for uh, for brain and ECU, so I've had to take all mounting gubbins out, mount it into here, that's wiring to brain, so that can go back up there but uh, if anybody's thinking about doing this you've got to either have patience or a saint or no brain at all and I don't know which category they are coming with that I think no brain at all <laughs> but it took two days to get all that harness out and I swore for two days solid and never used the same word twice absolutely drove me insane 
and uh, I suppose I'm going to have the same again sorting it out putting it back into this but uh, yeah there we are forward progress um, I didn't really as, as well as everything else I didn't do any video because it was just it was just tedious getting that out that's uh, that's diesel fuels box which is different totally different to the petrol one so I'm going to swing that in back at uh, Escort Saloon now that's uh, that's that's going to the great breakers yard in the sky um, I've tried to put it all back together just so that it's uh, it's easier to to shift it and get shutter it all in one lump but uh, doors have got to go on that off of this because I'm putting doors off of that because they've got electric windows uh, van seats aren't very really clever they're up in far corner so they're going in. Um, what else did I want to mention? Oh, uh, uh, another thing. When you, I'm swapping dashes and all, because uh, dashboard out of van, uh, it's, it, it were a bit grubby, and one out of car were all right. But you've got to bear in mind that on dashboard, it's got chassis number on. And I've just realised I've put that on the wrong way around. What a Klondike. And uh, these are really brittle because obviously they're not meant to be removed. Now that I've glued that on it's going to have to stay upside down. But uh, yeah it's supposed to be so you can read it through the windscreen. I've just realised I've put it on the wrong way around. What a bell end. But there you go. You live and learn don't you. Oh yes that's well and truly stuck. So. Another cock up, but that dashboard were really nice. And other one in van, people had had the feet up on it and uh, they'd, they'd spoilt it basically. So, uh, yeah, all that's uh, that's to go by. So, basically, now it's uh, it's just a case of getting it back together, see if we can get the bloody thing to run, and if it runs, uh, then we'll get everything back how it should be. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna try and get engine in and wired up and once I've proved to me send that it will run we'll sort out rest of wiring in from that and then it's just a case of getting it painted. Uh, I'm gonna trim that carpet down. Like I said that carpet come out of the car which were nice it's only done 34,000 mile that carpet so it's uh, it's pretty nice. Uh, but it needs cutting down because obviously uh, Saloon, it goes under the bike seat, but on van it, it chops off short. So if you look, if you look where uh, where rubber mat finishes, that's where rubber mat finishes and carpet goes right under under the bike seat. So I've got to cut that bike to the same length as that, so it uh, so it'll fit neatly in the van. But oh god, I've had to change ignition barrels. Uh, Cords in that, so that's cord reader for ignition barrel. I have to swap all that over. Uh, other silly little things are different. Um, fuel sender for, to, for fuel gauge. Uh, for, can't even find where that goes. But oil's a different size from this. For rubber, rubber grommet and, and plug so I've had to open all up in that for wire to go through to send the unit to fuel tank um, speedo cables are different clutch cables are different you won't believe it so uh, all that's need changing fuel lines are different so I've had to change up I had to I'd put I'd, fuel tanks are different so I'd swap tanks or then I realised fuel lines were different so I've had to drop because I put old tank into that, I had to drop that, change, drop it twice, take fuel lines out, fuel filter. But hopefully that should be all donkey work now. Uh, I keep saying that and then I keep finding more work to. But uh, there you go. Right, I'm waffling now. Uh, thanks for sticking with me. That's as far as I've got with, uh, uh, with Escort. I've been nowhere near transit. I've just had had time. Uh, and it's been just too warm, uh, it's been red hot. So, uh, thanks for watching, thanks for sticking with me, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. See you later.